in the previous episode. It doesn't get any easier. If anything, it actually gets harder. The calves. You just keep going because you have to. They could be a couple of months old, maybe. Absolutely stunned and amazed at how this is actually legal. Uh, okay, so I can actually see the production line through the window. They're dragging animals by their leg. They probably have already been killed, skinned. I can see their tails dangling. Uh, they're getting moved along this big conveyor belt. So I can see a leg, a hoof, um, pulled across as workers there. They're just processing these animals. They're still warm. The animals' bodies are still warm and they're fogging up the windows. Dairy calves, uh, cows, cat, beef cattle. One year old, 18 months old, two months old. Just whole families being butchered and massacred in there. Something out of a horror story. Doesn't even do it justice. Blood and guts and feces. And, you know, these workers are so conditioned to the highest level of violence. Like, they think it's normal. They've been highly, highly conditioned to something that shouldn't even exist in society as it stands. And I could just only imagine what their dreams are filled with. The screams of these dairy calves, the look in the dairy calves' eyes before they captive bolt pistol them in the skull. I mean, what does that do to a person working in somewhere like that? There's a fire inside your heart. And let it light up the world. Light up the world. The most powerful form of activism I've ever done, bar none. It's really motivated me and inspired me. And it's one of the driving forces behind what I do online is bearing witness. I've bore witness inside slaughterhouses while they're decapitating animals, outside of slaughterhouses, in dairy farms when they're taking calves away from mothers. And it gives you a level of reality to what's going on. Even if you are vegan and you think you understand what's going on, you have a deeper knowing when you're out the front of these places. And uh, vegans come out the front of these places, bear witness, and then they turn into lifetime activists after that. They're never the same. Like one of my main regrets from my past is like eating so many beings, like innocent beings, paying for them to be killed and putting their bodies inside of my body. Like I just, it's something that deeply disturbs me every day. Whenever I think about it, just how many corpses I had inside of my stomach and I was responsible for their death. It's hard, man. Hard to think about. What's your message to the world? My message to the world is that, you know, like I was just saying before that one of my deepest regrets was my responsibility for putting these animals in these slaughterhouses and for my body being a graveyard for their corpses. And it's something that disturbs me every single day. And the day I realized that I have complete power in what happens to these animals was one of the best days of my life because it gave me purpose. And people can point outside of themselves, outside of the country and go, you know, there's you know, starving children over there, there's war going on over here. This is something we have direct control over in your own neighborhood, okay? You can boycott these industries and you can persuade others to do the same and make a real impact. So that would be my message, um, you know. Amazing, anything It's murder, man. Horrible. Thank you so much for coming out so early in the cold to be here with the animals. I know that it's a lot of people's first time here. You might have been vegan for a little while now, but never been to a slaughterhouse. And 
witnessed the terrified, vulnerable, innocent animals before they make their way in there to meet their demise. It's a true nightmare. And it can be hard to come to terms with. I still am in disbelief. But what can help you deal with this is by actively trying to stop it. Otherwise, you'll have a feeling of helplessness. You don't want to feel helpless. That is not good for the animals and not good for your inner peace. Channeling the emotions you have now into your activism. Be more productive, effective. Stay positive and focused. Don't forget the victims and keep fighting, okay? It's important we have perspective. As hard as it is for us, imagine how hard it is for them. Okay, so that was a very eventful vigil. There was many people there, which was very inspiring. It was also very freezing cold and heaps sad. Um, little baby calves, that was terrible. Uh, you could see what was happening inside the slaughterhouse, which was very disturbing. But I'm glad so many new uh, people were there, first time at a vigil. It's just a intense experience that I think every vegan should have at least once. Yeah, so we're in between uh, the vigil and the workshop now. It's freezing cold. We just try to get some, get some warmth and um, we need to keep space between events so that we can sustain this because this is a very, very intense tour. Um, it can compound the effect, the stress can compound. Witnessing what's going on with the animals can compound. We're, we're actually not well as well. Um, Travelling, meeting so many people, you know, it's a very intense uh, situation. Also, I miss Laura heaps. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Big, big um, corporations putting on vegan options. Now, do they care about animals? They don't care about animals. They care about money. The reason they're putting on vegan options is because the demand is increasing. How does demand for vegan options increase? There are more vegans. Many, many more vegans. Okay, are there many more vegans because we all sat there and went, okay, no, I'm not gonna say nothing about this. No, a massive activism movement has started. Huge online activism movement. We're all working together and it is working. So never lose hope, never lose hope. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we'll try. Yeah. We got a bit to go, so of the tour, so. It's really important. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. I hope it inspired some people and inspired some activists. And, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, man. So, Thanks, brother. so inspiring, man. Really good to hear. Thanks, brother. Gave me a lot of motivation. Good. Even more motivation. Than you already have. Yeah. <laughs> good. Thank you so much. Keep up the good work, man. Keep fighting, brother. Right? Thank you. you know what? That was a really intense and good. I feel like it was a good interaction with everyone and I did a good speech. And I was tired and sick and it turned out well. One of the best, you think? Best so far. Best so far. Oh, thanks. That's what it's all about, man, eh? Like, you can, like, he, he'll be a different person, you know what I mean? He'll be inspired forever now. Yeah. I can just feel it, dude. I was like, that's right now. 
Yeah, he's a good guy, man, and like getting hugs like that, you just feel like it's all worth it, eh? All right, let's pack the camera up, get some food, and go to Paris. Potatoes. Oh, yeah, talk to me. Broccoli. I might just get broccoli, quinoa, and a tofu burger. Oh, God. Yeah, stuck that, dude, stuck that. What are you seeing right now? Quinoa, that's what I'm seeing. This, this pickled cabbage is really good. Yeah. Maybe a few gherkin. Oh, beans. Only one piece? No, two. Uh, so we're just on the train to um, Paris from Zurich and we've got some, this is just some Mexican beans. This is some quinoa. We've been liking this, this is pickled cabbage. And this is our little gherkins. Here we've got some tofu, smoked tofu and broccoli. This broccoli is so delicious right now, you have no idea. We also have yeast flakes. A little bit of sauce, just on the side here. I'm gonna enjoy this and then do some editing and see you in Paris. Doesn't make sense we, for compassionate God to have slaughterhouses. It makes no sense. Don't eat meat. Meat? Wow. But the slaughterhouse footage should leave a bad taste in their mouth and the vegan cheese should leave a good taste in their mouth. The French activists are so passionate. So perspective is a powerful, powerful tool you should utilize to deal with those nerves, which I have throughout my whole activism journey, okay? Perspective, like seeing animals be butchered in slaughterhouses get, gives me perspective, because no matter how hard it gets for me on tour, no matter how much people are giving me hell, you know, it's, it's really, it's a roller coaster. But I always have that in the back of my mind. I always do, and it helps me so much.